Hey, Dr. Ferguson, coming to you from the Passion Camp. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. I was having a conversation with a, a person today, and they were talking about uh, their lack of, of knowledge about first aid skills. And I think that's such an important thing that everybody knows some of those skills, whether they be young, whether they be old. Having some first aid skills can be very, very helpful. And the first skill I would suggest, well, it's good to take a goal and take a first aid course if you have something like that available to you. I would suggest that you do that. But the first thing I would suggest in references to first aid is to keep your cool. Keep your cool, don't get upset, don't get uptight, don't go running around, don't start screaming, don't start hollering, but keep your cool. And if you keep your cool, you'll often be able to think of a solution to the problem may not be the greatest solution but it will be much better than if you were screaming and getting hysterical about something that just happened so number one for first aid as far as I'm concerned keep your cool if you keep your cool you can come up with something but there's a lot of basic things about first aid and applying pressure to something that's bleeding well that might sound obvious to some but to others it's not so obvious so say for example you had a nosebleed you want to apply direct pressure to your nose maybe two fingers maybe just pinch your nose something like that uh, right where the bleeding is coming from don't put a big old towel up over your nose and washcloths and just big masses of, of material you want as you want direct pressure as pinpoint as possible right over the object <clears throat> or the place that's bleeding so you're bleeding on your leg say you cut your leg well whatever the smallest amount of your hand or whatever you can get over that particular area that's bleeding is the way to go. You, you want to try to avoid the, the big stuff, the, the, the whole big towel wrapped around something. Direct pressure is going to work. Next real important thing that can be used just about everywhere is ice. Ice works wonderfully, whether it be a bump, whether it be a bruise, whether it be a cut. Uh, ice can work very well. If it's a cut, you might have to put something over the wound before you put the ice. But ice will, will do wonders. If it's a bee sting, if it's a, a bruise, if it's a bite, you know, ice can, can slow down the process, can help it feel better if it's a burn. It, it, ice will probably be effective in just about any type of wound you can think of. I'm sure there's an exception to the rule, but as a general rule, ice and pressure uh, would be very effective for most wounds. So we got keep your cool, we got pressure, we got ice. I mean, those are three real important things to do when you talk about first aid. So I'll talk to you next time. I'll keep it short. Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passion Cam. Be blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.